My name is Nancy Lin. I'm a Carmen Postdoc Fellow in Art History, and I'm curating an exhibition at the Johnson Museum. The fellowship has provided me with the opportunity of conducting my research uninhibited with all of the resources of Cornell University behind me. The Columban Postdoctoral Fellowship Program is a three-year program that provides support and resources to emerging scholars who are leading in their fields to allow them to undertake cutting-edge research in their disciplines independent of restrictions that come from specific grants and freed from complications of having to also think about teaching has allowed them to really flourish. This exhibition is called Between Performance and Documentation, Contemporary Photography and Video from China. And it's looking at the ways that artists from China have used their body to explore a range of themes from urbanization to gender and sexuality to identity in contemporary media culture. The Klaman Scholars Research very often can be collaborative enterprise with their faculty host. Iftikhar Dadi is one of the cutting edge scholars whose work I have admired from afar. And we are currently working on a number of projects together. And I think that's just really wonderful. When she wrote to me about applying for the Clarman Fellowship and for me to serve as her mentor, I was very interested because I had known her work from before and researching contemporary Chinese art is an extremely important field in the history of art overall. Nancy's exhibition would be of importance for Americans to look at, to see how artists as individuals caught in the flux of change were negotiating their place in the world. It's a predicament common to humanity, I believe. So much of the heated rhetoric that we use to think about China today obscures the incredible amount of culture and creativity and really wonderful things that are happening in China. The goal and the mission of Klarman is about building connections across disciplines and really Nancy's work epitomizes that. She's bringing together social and historical and artistic context with existing archives we have in the Cornell Library, new performance artists being supported through Cornell Tech, integrating new pieces, also collections from alumni. So she's bringing together a rich community here of, of intellectual thoughts and energy and combining it in this exhibition. I think that ability to kind of activate networks that already exist, but to strengthen them or to develop them in new ways is something that really impressed the faculty in the art history department and convinced them why the work that I'm doing makes sense at Cornell and why they should keep me on um, as faculty here.